Okay, we're looking at a, a small hive beetle infestation. Uh, this is a nook that I've had for maybe two months. It was collected from a swarm. Had been doing very well and uh, had really, frankly, needed to be um, moved into a larger hive box. And I uh, didn't get around to it and uh, I believe they swarmed once. And then we had about five inches of rain here in the past uh, two days. And uh, I just noticed this flood of fermented honey and uh, bees on the outside. Now I'm being attacked again by, by the bees. Anyway, we wanted to look at this and uh, let you see what it looks like. That's a uh, mass is a small hive beetle. And uh, these are pupa out here on the front doorstep. The, uh, the adults had noticed that the pupa had eggs in them from small hive beetle and probably then started to remove them. But it was too late. And uh, I think the rain had gotten inside that nook box. And uh, once you get a high moisture content inside a um, hive box and it stays there for a while, it's very difficult for the bees to maintain the proper uh, humidity. It really starts growing many uh, pathogens. It's just difficult for them. So uh, this is my fault, you know. I, uh, I should have noticed it and uh, had taken care of it a while ago. But uh, the ironic thing is I was just giving a talk yesterday at a beginning bee class and uh, talking about pathogens and pests and this just reinforces the fact that everyone is a beginning beekeeper. So you beginning beekeepers out there, don't feel bad if you have issues. Everyone has issues.